So many things in the future will be made using biology. We just have all of these new technology to sequence DNA, synthesize DNA, to, to tell cells, to make all sorts of different molecules. The impact is we get access to totally new sets of materials, molecules, properties nature has already created. Matt and I are engineers, we're not biologists. We were really looking at biomanufacturing and then sort of applying that engineering mindset just to like solve the underlying issues that we could see there. We first realized bioreactors were a real challenge for this industry because we saw a couple of labs really struggle with running these reactors, generating high quality data. We were walking around this laboratory that had already about 150 bioreactors in it. They told me they would want to run 10 to 100 times more of those bioreactors if they could. It became kind of clear that this was a bottleneck and a real challenge for the entire industry. It's really hard to run uh, traditional bioreactors. A lot of manual setup, there's a lot of connections. You start the fermentation, go home. You don't have any way of monitoring it. Things can break. Fermentation is 90% troubleshooting. You can have pumps failing, and you have to go in and kind of take it apart, put it back together. A lot of companies just don't have the time or the resources to run a lot of the tests that they should be, which means that they don't. And that's where you encounter troubles when you go to scale up. And those can be some really costly mistakes. Software engineers have an enormous amount of tools at their disposal for doing their work on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's just not something that we typically see in industrial biotech. We really thought that there's a lot of potential power there that we could give to researchers and bioprocess engineers. Why don't we create cloud infrastructure where we're supplying high quality bioreactor data to these companies so they just worry about you know, making their new protein or making their new therapeutic molecule. My experience was all traditional fermentation, which is a lot of manual work and a lot of babysitting. When I heard about a cloud-based lab for biomanufacturing, I was super excited. To us, a cloud bioreactor is a reactor that generates data in our lab, but simultaneously sends all of that same data into our API services in the cloud. These services allow us to gather the data, do new uh, interesting kind of computation on that data, and then present that data to our customers. All of this happens, I should say though, in like 10 seconds. So basically your data is always available for you. Culture's system is really well suited to visualizing and analyzing your experiments quickly. You can quickly iterate after each experiment without having to worry about wrangling all the data. There's also a control element as well. Anywhere you have your laptop, you can log in, check the status of things, and also send new control commands to change your process in real time. For our customers, working with culture means they can focus on the bigger picture of the design and analysis of their experiments without all the day-to-day -day details of running a bioreactor lab. We focus on running bioreactors. Our clients submit their experimental plans, their designs, their strains, their media, and we execute those experiments. They're in our hands. People are dedicated to partnering with our customers to make every experiment a success. We like to say we're a tools company because our customers are scientists who are fundamentally still developing their process. We're not trying to do that for them. You're working with us the entire time. It's not handed over to us, we do work and give it back to you. You're seeing everything that's happening in the lab in real time. You have access to the data in real time. You're designing the experiments. When we think about the history of manufacturing, we can think about these new innovations that made a dramatic impact. When Ford created the assembly line, it made cars cheap enough that any American could purchase. If you think about semiconductor manufacturing in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, those manufacturing innovations enabled our entire digital lives that we have today. What we're trying to do at Culture is build new technologies that make it faster to develop these manufacturing processes and scale them up. Instead of years to make a new biomolecule, if it takes months, biomolecules will be part of everything that we physically make.